For all the talk of global warming and melting ice caps, it seems, for once, a glimmer of good news. Sea ice in the Arctic has most likely hit its lowest point of the year, and that level is considerably higher than it was in 2012. Sea ice is frozen ocean water that melts in the summer and then refreezes every winter. Scientists measure the seasonal variation as a telltale sign of climate change. Last year, a dramatic melt sounded the alarm when the extent of sea ice tumbled to a record low, 3.41 million square kilometres. This year's extent is decidedly higher. Ice stopped melting at 5.1 million square kilometres and has begun its seasonal growth. But the overall trend is still down. Compare these levels to the 30-year average as indicated by the orange line. This animation shows the daily shrinking of Arctic ice over the northern summer. The white areas slowly diminish as temperatures rise. The extent of ice actually dropped to the sixth lowest level on record, but it's still being described as a welcome recovery. On the other end of the world, sea ice in the Antarctic has maintained an upward trend. Its winter maximum extent matched the record high in 2012, Climate scientists point to cooler air around the globe that's given rise to increased ice cover in both poles this year. Yet the overall message remains one of caution. We're still not out of the danger zone, and the time of ice-free summers in the Arctic could be just decades away. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.